Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is also if you're spying on a Capricorn because you want to know what's up in their love life. So in the month of December, what is your overall theme, Capricorn? Oh, life's not fair. In love, you just get dealt shitty hands again and again. That might be how you're feeling. Um, but like, you know, you're not confused. Like you're looking at your past, you're being reflective. So that's a good thing because it does actually make you very clear on what it is that you want. Um, one of my favorite Capricorns just said, you know, um, this person, I was going to go on a date with them and it seemed like they were going to be a really good match for me. But then I just had this feeling that maybe they don't have their shit together so much as I had hoped they did. And now I know that's not for me. Well, it's not fair because, you know, I finally felt like, hey, I want to, like, I'm finally meeting somebody that I'm interested in, right? But as soon as you realize that it's not what you want, you're like, eh okay, well, that sucks. Like, when am I going to meet the person that I want? Let's see if that happens this month. They're like, well, you're really focused on it, and so it could happen within a month, within one. Yay! Okay, so what are the things that are working for you in the month of December that you know what you want? They just don't stop with that. And it's hilarious because the chances are, like, in the trillions that I would continually shuffle up the deck like this, and that one just pops out again and again and again and again for Capricorn. Okay, what else is working for you in the month of December? And they're like, that you can be patient as an earth energy. That, you know, even though things are moving slow, you know that they're working in the right direction, that they're moving forward, um, that they're going in the way that you would hope. And you can see that. Like, especially probably in your career or in your finances, um, in your personal possessions. Like, you can see slow but steady progress towards desired goals. And what does that have to do with love? Well, nothing except for that it offers proof that um, you are achieving what you want. And so it's not going to be any different in love once you apply that focus and you're doing it. So good for you. Okay, what are the potential challenges you'll be facing in the month of December, Capricorn? And they're like feeling really successful though in the area of love, which is why they bring up the area of earth elements, right? Because this is proof that love is no difference. You have to be patient and just wait it out. Things take longer than we want, but they're worth the wait. And so they're like, that's the real challenge here because you're wondering if like all of this manifesting that you're doing, all of these positive thoughts you're putting out there, all these efforts you're making, are they fucking worth it? I don't know. I'm starting to lose my feelings of like passion and enthusiasm and joy like towards working on this. And they're like, but you know what? That's the thing about faith. You just have to have it. Like you just have to really believe our faith gets tested and the universe often tests us. It gives us the law of opposites before it gives us what we're trying to attract almost to like say, hey, look, is this actually what you want? Is this really what you want? Before I give it to you, is this really what you want? You know? And so... This is what's happening here. <laughs> um, what is the best way to kind of deal with these challenges in the month of December? And they're like, stay focused. Keep that focus. So good for you. You're already doing it. Um, what is the reward as a result? They're like, you're not going to get the things that you don't want, you know, or the things that you want momentarily. Like if you're making your desires towards something long-term, then you're more likely to attract a long-term kind of partner. If you're very shallow and you're like, you know what, I just want somebody like hot to like bone right now. Um, the trouble is that you could totally attract that, right? Um, but then what happens later when they're that kind of person who wants to do that with everybody and all of a sudden now you catch feelings and you're like, wait, I thought I wanted this, but it's not what I wanted, <laughs> right? And so that's kind of what they're telling you. So they're like, but here's the deal. A lot of you are going to have to take like very aggressive action to co-create these kind of things. Like, so while you're patient and you're kind of waiting for the universe to bring you what you asked for and they're like, we're doing it. We promise you we are because you have been emotionally focused. Um, you're going to have to make sure that you don't lose that enthusiasm, that you're really like feeling the joy. So a really quick way to raise your vibration and kind of attract love into your life is as you're driving, for example, when you're in the car, listening to love songs and just really feeling the joy as if you had the partner that you could sing a love song to that like that too. You know what I mean? Um, like imagining it in your head, like doing your wedding dance with this person, even though they're totally faceless right now. Um, or for example, if you're watching this and you're coupled, it's like, 
um, imagining what it would feel like to like sing this to your partner or to like renew your vows or whatever, like to be that in love again, because it, because maybe, I mean, you always love the person, but maybe that passion is waning, right? And they're saying, well, well, you can bring it back that way because the more love you radiate, like the more of a magnet you are for it. And so they're like, this is maybe something that you don't always want to do. And a lot of people, like, they hear these love songs and they go, oh, these are so silly. They're not realistic. They're so dumb. Well, what are you doing then? You're putting out a lack of love kind of vibe. So you're not really attracting it to you. And so they're like, that's just like a really easy little switch. Um, what else do you need to know in the month of December regarding your love life? And they say, you're very well aware and you're trying to balance out your day-to-day -day life. Um, but as you're doing that, like you've got it under control, but in the background, your subconscious is like a little bit emotionally like, whoa, some days are good, some days are bad. And just to kind of have that awareness is going to very well help you. It'll serve you in this mission. Um, they're like, you know what? You, sometimes you might be trying to throw yourself into your work or be like really focused on, you know, your career, these goals you're trying to achieve to keep your mind off of these things, you know, with love that, um, with, especially when you're feeling in that lack mentality. Um, but they're like, maybe that's not the best way to go. The better way to go is to just start being very, very generous with other people. And it doesn't necessarily mean go out and be a slut. Like, that might help some of you. But what it what it does mean is like even with smiles, you know, like, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Be a little bit friendlier um, because maybe your soulmate isn't exactly, you know, a very outgoing person that's going to approach you. They say like it's challenging at times. Whoa, they've got a lot of stuff to tell you right here. They say that it's challenging at times to really like feel – you know, that celebratory emotion, that joy for the love you're trying to attract when it's not here yet. But if you don't, you're almost resisting it because spirit is like, look, that want that focus that we were talking about, we're trying to hand it to you here. But you're like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. And the reason why is because in the past I was given that and it wasn't any good. I don't want it. Um, so they're like, be really cognizant of that. Like, are you open to receive? Are you open to receive, like, all of this love? They're like, because if you're sure that you are, if you're, like, super open to accept it, to be vulnerable, to take that risk, things are going to change in your favor. Not only in your love life, but, you know, in your communication, in your friendships, in your work life, in your career, with your money, with um, all of these different things, your enthusiasm. They're like, so really have that faith that we talked about with the three of wands where he's standing there and he's like, is it worth it? I don't know. They're like, blindly just like at least for the month of December, just kind of like put your hands up, you know, to spirit, the universe, God, allow whatever, and be like, I trust that you're going to bring me what I'm asking you for. I trust that that's the truth because it will. And they're like, go ahead and be selfish and ask what you want, what, ask for what you're wanting, but actually ask whether this is like verbally doing it. Cause sometimes mentally it's not enough. So they're like this month, write down a list of expectations. You know, these are these the things that I expect, you know, in a partner. And the universe shall bring it to you. Um, but they're, like, saying, don't worry about, like, um, very material kind of things with that, though. Like, more personality kind of traits. Like, I want someone honest, loyal, um, you know, an optimist. I want someone spiritual like me. Those kind of things. Not so much about, um, I want someone who makes, like, 500K a year. Because they're, like, those things change. And so um, you better bet your ass that, <laughs> that they might change after you receive that with that person. They're like, because all of that stuff, it's going to be stable. Like, you're going to attract, if you focus, the kind of person that should you want to live together, you will. You know, I'm getting, like, very strong, like, cohabitation kind of energy here. Um, but not with a person who's, like, bossy and domineering and all of these things. So um, personality traits are going to be huge. Write a big list down of all the things that you want in a personality. I want someone funny. I want someone smart. I want someone with a good vocabulary. I want someone um, who's caring and empathetic and communicates their emotions. You know, things like that. Okay, so best of luck. Let's see what kind of affirmation we get for Capricorns in the month of December. Two of them. Okay, creativity. 
You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination, and they're saying, be creative. Be so creative with your list, okay? I want someone whose sense of humor is like mine. I want someone who cries in sad movies so I'm not embarrassed about it. <laughs> um, and priorities. So this is what we're talking about with that balance, where maybe we're kind of like shifting away from focusing on this thing because we're starting to feel disappointed that we don't have it yet. Um, but they're saying, I understand the paramount importance of manifesting love into all situations. So, you know, a, a, the time that I manifest things the most or I do my most learning is when I'm cleaning. I listen to a book on tape or affirmations, things like that. They're like, as you're doing like the kind of mundane day-to-day -day tasks, unloading the dishwasher, you can be thinking with every cup that you remove a different quality in the person you're trying to manifest. You know, um, it, you just take a cup out and you're like, honesty, loyalty, um, silliness. They like to take walks in the park with me. You know, like that kind of stuff. It's actually very simple. We think we don't have time for this, but we're like emotionally lazy because we don't believe it. And they're like, that's the challenge for you. So best of luck in the month of December with love. Know that it's totally possible. You might not get it until January, but this is a very important emotional work month for you. And love and light.